Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. Today is Sunday the 22nd of January and I have something new to show you. I have built this 12 volt sound system that I had built today. It took me about 5 hours to build from scratch and this is the result of it. So here we have a board and on the front we have a module that I bought from eBay but I'll come to that later. You can see some speaker holes for the speakers that are mounted behind so there's one on the right and one on the left. The holes uh, allow the sound to come out from the speakers behind and I will focus more on the module. Okay I bought this module from eBay it cost me about six pounds and it is a sound system module. Now it has various features this is the Bluetooth version. There are different versions of this. And this thing is quite neat. So as you can see on the front it says Bluetooth speakers, MP3, FM on it. So what this is, this is a sound system, system unit. And on the front there's an LED display. There's a USB socket. There's a slot marked TF, which after some research turns out to be that's a micro US micro SD slot for a memory card. There's a line in jack marked AUX and some buttons on the bottom. Now this unit has various features. So as you can see at the moment, it's is showing the FM radio mode. It has an FM tuner in it. There's an FM tuner. You can play music over Bluetooth, so you can connect this to your phone or iPod or tablet or whatever. There's a USB socket, so you can play music from USB memory sticks as well. And there's a micro SD slot, so you can play music from memory cards. So you can play music in various ways. There's an aux in socket, so you can connect, say, an MP3 player that doesn't have Bluetooth. You just connect a lead to the aux in socket, just here, and you select line, which I'll attempt to do with the mode button. Audio input mode. Audio input mode. And it says aux line. There are voice prompts when you select different modes. So now I could play music from my MP3 player through this sound system. So that's one way, a direct cable connection. I'll just dispense with that over here. So I press the mode button again. Waiting to be connected. Bluetooth connected. We have a Bluetooth mode. So I can play music from my Bluetooth device, for example my iPod that I'm holding, or my iPad, or your mobile phone. You can play music wirelessly through this system. Press the mode again. Radio mode. And we have a radio mode. Now, I'm just going to let you listen to the static. But because of copyright infringement and so and so. So this is the radio mode. It has presets and it detects the presets through an auto scan. You can you it scans through all the frequencies and stores the radio stations. All I'm going to say is that it works very well. But I won't play any music for copyright reasons. 
So that's all I'm going to say. You can you can either with the USB socket you can either use memory sticks or as I found I can put an, a normal SD card into a card reader and plug that in. This goes in here. When you do this it will automatically switch to it. And you can hear the music playing. I'm just going to stop it there, otherwise we have copyright issues again. And so you can play music from standard SD cards through a card reader. So that works as well. So this is quite a good device. And I'm very happy with it. And the sound quality is reasonably good. This device is one of those Chinese made modules. There are lo lots of them on eBay. This one has the Bluetooth. There are cheaper versions without the Bluetooth. But Bluetooth is convenient. If you want to stream music from your mobile device that has Bluetooth, better than using cables. And if your device does not use a memory card, such as the iPod Touch and the iPad, that means you can play your music collection, or you can play the sound from your videos, etc. So I'm just going to unplug this. Radio it turns to radio mode. So that's how that works. So I am going to... It does come with a remote control that allows you to change most different settings on it. You can mute the sound with the mute button and the sound cuts out. You can only turn this off with the remote control. If you mute the speakers the display flashes. That's just its way of telling you. You can select the modes with this as well and that's the remote control. Comes with the module. So I'm going to switch it off now and then I will show you what's behind this. Now the hardest part of this was cutting the slot out to put this display in. That took me a long time. So this is a piece of wood. It's actually from a bath panel. Uh, this is MDF fiberboard with a plastic facing and it is fairly hard to drill even with a mains powered drill. So let's look behind it. I'm just going to fold it down. So this is being powered from my 12 volt solar system. If you follow this power lead, just from here, and it goes to the socket on the side of the desk. It's set to 12 volts regulated. Right, this is the back of my system. Now this is the module down here. It comes with a power supply cable. But this then goes into a 5 volt regulator, so I'm guessing the unit's actually 5 volts inside. So there's a power connection and an output connection. So from the output, there's only a line level output from this. We go to an amplifier. This is a cheap Chinese eBay type amplifier. Now it does say 500 W watts, it's not 500 watts. This might be a couple of watts maybe. I have opened this up and looked inside and it contained one of those integrated circuit audio devices. So this is low power, there's nothing mega power with this. So, and again, this amplifier is power from 12 volts, so the two devices are connected to the same power cord. So it's, these run off 12 volts. I'm using regulated 12 volts because 
I have the battery charger on and the battery bank is at 14 volts. I'm using the battery charger. So, from the amplifier, this is a stereo amplifier, and then we have two lots of output cables to the speakers. I have one speaker on each side. Now these are nothing fancy. These are some car radio speakers. Here's the box. I had I got these second hand from somewhere. The box is tatty on the outside, but the speakers are absolutely brand new. So the box says that the speakers came with wiring but, but I didn't use that so the speakers are 4 ohms impedance nominal power 15 watts maximum power of 30 watts and these are Japanese made units you will note it does say a double cone speaker it has two they have two cones one for the one to tweet and a sort of main cone and they came with all the fixed fixtures fittings for mounting them so these speakers are absolutely brand new and they sound quite good so this is how it is behind the module as I showed you has an FM tuner so there's an aerial for the radio so this black wire goes along here and then I just went all the way along the board doubled it over and went all the way back so that serves as a good aerial for the radio and this is the back of my system so this is the amplifier it's not 500 watts in any way maybe a couple of watts maybe but it still sounds loud enough on the back of the amplifier there's a high and low tone switch and a volume control I set, I set the amplifier to the maximum volume that I want to use and then I can control the volume from the module just tip it back every day. The device has a volume control, so I'd set the amplifier to the maximum loudness I want. And remember, I just want some modest volume. I do not need to rock the whole house, so the amplifier that's behind there is fine. I just want some modestly modest volume on the music, so then I can control the volume from this unit here. So this is my 12 volt sound system and it took me about 5 hours to assemble and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a shelf above the light and it's going to go up there and then I will feed power from my 12 volt solar system. I may put a 12 volt regulator on the back of this unit and that's how it's going to be. So this is my video on my 12 volt sound system using this module. So I hope you found this video interesting and if you like this video then watch my other videos and click subscribe and until next time this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.